Now, what the model has also done is, based on your current feed wedge, done an automatic paddock allocation. So we can see what it's done here, and under paddock allocation, reporting. So in terms of the screen here, we have the mobs, individual mobs on the left. Um, here, the selection area where we can select the paddocks that we're wanting to put them in. We'll show here the number of cows, the target pasture intake, and the estimated pasture intake on that particular day. Down here, you'll see this one here in red. That's because it's uh, forecasting that they won't quite reach that the target intakes on that particular day for these two paddocks. On the right here, it'll show the paddocks that have been allocated for that particular day on the 20th of September, um, highlighted in yellow. It'll show what are the expected post-graze amounts in those paddocks and the amounts available. Now for this one here, we might want to just choose paddock 14 for the AM milking. So we click on that little drop down, select paddock 14. Now we can select multiple paddocks by going control click. In this case, we're just going to choose one. So what it's done now is put paddock 14 as an AM paddock and paddock 40. So if you want just to see this and a report to print out the staff say, you can print out the paddock allocation report by clicking on the little printer icon. And then you can either choose to print using that, or if you want, you can change the heading, copy the clipboard, open the word, paste it in, and print it out.